Today's topic is Economic Value Added or EVA. EVA is an estimate to calculate the true economic profit of a company. It is the value created in excess of the required return of the company's investors. EVA is the profit earned by the firm less the cost of financing the firm's capital. An investor requires a certain percentage of returns from his investment. That is known as the required return of the company's investors. So what we are trying to say in the second point is that EVA is the value created in excess of the required return that the company's investors are hoping to get. We know that when you raise a capital, there is a cost attached to it, be it debt capital or equity. That is why EVA is the profit earned by the firm by deducting the cost of financing the firm's capital. EVA is a performance matrix that calculates the creation of shareholder value. It distinguishes itself from the traditional financial performance matrix such as net profit and EPS, that is earning per share. We will now take a small example to understand what is the difference between normal earning and EVA. Capital employed is rupees 10 lakh, earnings is rupees 1 lakh, and thus the percentage return is 10%. But as we can see that in this example, the cost of raising capital has not been included. That is why this will not give you the true economic value that the firm has earned. Let us now see that why EVA is different from the normal calculation of return. There is a formula of EVA that is NOPAT less weighted average cost of capital multiplied by capital employee. NOPAT is the net operating profit after tax. WACC, like I just said, is the weighted average cost of capital. CE is the capital employed in the business. Let us now take a small numerical example to understand EVA in a better way. Suppose no PAT is rupees 2000, the capital employed in the business is 6000 and the weighted average cost of raising capital is 10%. If you substitute the values in the formula, you get EVA as rupees 1400. As we can see that by substituting the values, we have substituted the values for the weighted average cost of capital that was required to raise the capital, which matches with the third point, that is EVA is the profit earned by the firm by deducting the cost of financing the firm's capital. Like I said before, that when you raise capital, you have to pay a cost for it. The cost may be related to debt part or the equity part. So when you apply weights to the respective debt and equity proportion, you get the weighted average cost of capital. So if you have to write a summary on what is EVA, you can easily conclude it with the help of these five points. That EVA is an estimate to calculate the true economic profit of a company. It is the value created in excess of the required return of the company's investors. I will take another example. Say, suppose the company's investors require 10% return and the company actually earns 13% rate of return. So the additional 3% is your EVA component because it is in excess of the expectation of the investors. The third point has been already discussed. Fourth is that EVA is a performance matrix that calculates the creation of shareholder value. So basically it helps the investor to see 
and to calculate that what was the creation of shareholder wealth. Fifth is that it distinguishes itself from the traditional financial performance matrix. So till now we used to always conclude that what is the performance of the company by looking at its PNL and by looking at its net profit figure and by looking at the EPS that the company earns. But now we have another better way of calculating the firm's value in the form of EVA. I hope that you understood the concept. This is all for today. Thank you.